That's what I got. How's it going? Thank you. <laughs> Quite the camera there. Yes, yeah, sort of vlogging for today. Biking without hands is super fun. Biking without hands and a camera is even more fun. It's such a nice day. I have to finish a flip book for a school project. It's the first class where I get to do something video and animation related for a class, which I'm super pumped about. Uh, it's a lot of work to make though. Someday it's not gonna be me filming these things. It's gonna be this drone that flies and films me by itself. It'll be so awesome. It's gonna happen probably in the next couple years to be honest. So this is one copy and this is the other copy in case I mess up. Let's see how this works. So I just finished attempt one. It looks really bad. <laughs> it does not look good. Uh, <laughs> the paper isn't thick enough and I can't cut very precisely. So luckily I have a second try. We'll see if that works. I'm gonna have to go really carefully because this is basically my last shot. So finished, it's not really what I want it to be, but that's okay. Uh, basically what I learned is I don't like doing crafts and you should not hire me to make a flip book. But it was fun animating it. If you see, um, let me see here, this is what it's supposed to look like. It definitely does not look like that. So uh, back in September, so about seven months ago, I tried using After Effects for the first time and all I wanted to do was make words sort of pop out of nothing in a very clean way. And I had no idea what I was doing. And that probably took me three hours to do this. Now, that would probably take me a minute. So that's pretty satisfying. Recently, I did a project with Josue. He sent me a, pr a bunch of pictures and I was supposed to make it look lively and sort of animated and try. I hadn't done it before. All sorts of stuff moving around. I don't really love the font, but you know the animating, I'm pretty happy about, considering I just had pictures to start with. It was actually super fun. I did it in about four hours. I don't know, it's just super fun to reflect on uh, how much I've been learning with little, little tiny steps. I'm almost never late to filming, but I'm always late to class. The Tuesdays are a little tricky because I always have a ton of work to do, but not very much class. So the temptation is just to sort of sit in one spot all day and work on videos and be a little isolated. But right now I decided to just go play ping pong for an hour with some friends, um, just to get the day started a little bit more socially. I'm Eric? Yeah. Oh. I got you. Thank you. So ping pong is one of the new hobbies that I've picked up in the last year. Uh, I have taken the PE class every single quarter this school year. And, you know, it's just a good way to stay active and have a lot of fun. I've also met a lot of new friends through it. In the fall and winter, I really didn't know what was going on and I wasn't very good. But now, after playing for at least two hours a week, I've gotten a lot better. I still can't beat Emily though. Urgh! I will though. I will though. <laughs> so that was super fun. I didn't get all the footage that I wanted, but I played one advanced player and uh, two intermediate players. I would place myself as probably upper intermediate. So whenever I play an inter intermediate player, it's about 70-30 I win. But then whenever I play an advanced player, I get points on the board, but I, I get crushed. So my goal by the end of the quarter is to get to the more lower advanced level. Um, it's so much fun to play though, oh my gosh. Grocery time! I've been editing and doing administrative stuff for an ungodly amount of time. I needed a break. And my break is helping Andy start his car. I always forget the details of how to do this, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to figure it out. <sighs> okay. So I'm talking in the car because I want to talk at the volume that I am right now. Basically the past couple days I've felt really stressed out. School is not terrible and I've been still productive and seeing people and staying social and stuff. So why, why has it felt off? And I've realized after about two days of feeling like this that the reason it's felt off is because I've had a sort of abnormal amount of jobs the past week that are very mindless to me and very unfulfilling. 
And that's been 90% of the video work that I've been doing. And so normally I would say I have about 40% of my work is super fun. Like I love it. I it, And 60% are jobs that are fine. I get, you know, or mindless. You know, those are the things that I do to pay the bills, build, build the business, that type of stuff. And the 40% are the things that you usually would see on Instagram. Um, the things that I really love making. So the reason why this week has felt so weird is because just out of nowhere, I've had that 60-40 number suddenly become 90-10. And so suddenly all these weird ideas started popping up in my head because I was stressed. I was like, oh, when do I get a break? This is like, I'm never going to get a break. This is my life now. Um, or video stuff is such a drag, you know? Those are weird foreign ideas. I love making videos. So clearly there was this like uh, tension because I don't want the thing that I love to feel like this. I need to really protect that balance of making sure that there's a good amount of my work that I'm still love doing and uh, is engaging and creative. And so I need to make business decisions based on that. Deep down, that's sort of what matters. I want to be, yes, financially viable, but I can't long term make decisions solely based on just money, 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 money. I mean, the difference is night and day. Today I was editing and it just felt like forever. It it just did not feel good. So, yeah. I mean, here, like for instance, here, tomorrow it's, it's 12.20 right now, okay? I have to get up at 5.45 or something tomorrow to film. Like I, I'm excited to do it even though I'm not a morning person, like every, like basically it doesn't take much for me to step up to the plate because I know that's what I want to do and that's what I have to do. I mean, that's, this, uh, this is, sorry, sorry, this is a rant, but this is why I'm doing video stuff. I don't want to be stuck in a system or working for someone or something that I don't actually care about, um, or where I have to do something I don't like 90% of the time just to make money. I want to have, I want my life. I want to be able to make those decisions to shift that ratio the way I want, to be able to take the 90-10 and flip it to 60-40 or to 40-60 or to 30-70 someday. I want to be able to do that. And I know that if I were in a nine to five or working at a research lab or going to med school, that just wouldn't happen. <sighs> Anyways, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. This vlog is one of my favorite things that I make and it just motivates me a ton and inspires me a bunch. And I'm just glad that I'm able to share my life and at least a hundred of you guys tune in pretty regularly. So that's just super awesome to me. Um, thank you so much for the support. Hit that like button to just show me that you're enjoying and I'm still shooting for a goal of 200 subscribers by the end of the quarter. So if you could help me out, we're almost at 100. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Peace. Oh, holy, this guy went off. Yo, 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 Eric, chill, man, chill. Dude, this guy went off.